Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteu Beading and I'm here with another Christmas gift idea. This time it is for fine seed beads earrings and they're easy to make. They are like a beginner's level tutorial so I'm sure with the step-by-step -step instructions you're gonna be able to make them by yourself. If you're new here it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make matching jewelries to the ones that I have already done you will be able to make beautiful sets and you will also be inspired twice a week. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and a link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful works that you did following my tutorials. You could also check my second channel Bijuteu Fast Clips where in just two three minutes you could see the whole projects and decide if you feel like making them or not and then switch to the longest version. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are super duo beads or also called twin beads. These are these beautiful two hole beads in silver color and I'm also using HO beads and 11 o seed beads in white and silver color again. And these are earring findings in silver color. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches to 0 0.15 millimeters. You could use other beading thread of your choice. This is size 10 beading needle and scissors. And now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and I'm back and what I'm going to take next are six of these beautiful silver beads okay and i have six of them and i'm going to slide those down i will stick my needle in my mat and here what i want to do is make a knot and i'm making it by making here a loop and going twice through the loop i've made and pull and then I will make one more knot, just like this. And now this is what I have. I have a beautiful circle of six beads. Okay, and in my next step, guys, what I want to do is go in this direction through some beads. And by the way, you could make a full reinforcement of your work. Okay, just like this. I made a full circle around and now I will go back through this seed bead here. So I'm going in this direction and then I'm going through this empty hole, the outside empty hole. Now I prefer to flip my work like this because I'm right handed and it's easier for me to go in this direction. I'm changing directions, okay, and I take one, I go through the following, two, go here, and I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay, and as I finish these guys, I will go here in the center, just like this, and I'm here in this hole, in the inner hole, and I'm going to take one seed bead now, and I will go in the opposite super dual bead, okay, and it, in its inner hole, and how I find the opposite, I count one, two, and the third one is the opposite and I'm going in the same direction where my thread is pointing to okay it's pointing here so I'm going in this direction okay and I pull so now I have this and 
and what I need to do next is go again through this twin bead and then back through this one okay like this and here at the edge okay and now I'm exiting out of this white bead here a white ato and I'm going to pick up three silver beads and I will go back here through this one and if you can exit in one movement through the following white ato then take three more and go back like this like one more time okay and you know it's easier for me to flip my work it's not obligatory if you want work in this direction but it's just easier for me and I always turn my work the way it's easier and now I'm going to continue this until the end of this row okay guys and now I finish this row and what I want to do is go here at the edge I want to exit through one of the silver beads that are sticking out the most because from here on I'm going to start my next element before that guys I will cut this tail thread here okay like this and from here on I will start my next element and I'll show you how I'm doing this but the other way around okay in order to do this I need to take these three seed beads uh, two seed beads and one ato in the middle I mean and I'm going back here through this silver one now I have this I want to mirror this one here but starting from one of the edges okay so now I'm exiting through this white bead and what comes next is one of my super dual beads or twin beads depending on the manufacturer they are called in two different ways okay I'm sliding this down and now in my next step I will go through its empty hole which will be the inner hole okay so I'm zigzagging like this through this bit and now I need five more of those why five because here I already have one bit and when I go in circle like this I will have six in total and it will be the same thing like here okay now guys uh, just reinforce your work okay reinforce it then go here through this one that is next to the white one and now what I do is that I go back through this empty hole of this silver bead outer empty hole then through the white one through the white ato and then through the outer hole of the next twin bead okay now as I'm repositioned here what I need to do is add white beads okay now I want to flip my work like this you see um, this one is sticking out from this side and I want the next element to also stick from this side that is why here I'm going to add the central bead okay 
as I'm exiting from this silver bead from its inner hole, I'm taking one white bead and I'm going through the opposite bead and here through the inner hole and in the same direction where my thread was pointing to. It's like the same thing I showed you in my previous step. Okay, so now guys, what I want to do is reach the edge and at the last row. Okay. In order to do this, I'm repositioning here. I want to exit here through this one at the edge. And I'm going to add three seed beads. Go back. Like this and I will continue until the end. Okay, and here I just added my last three beads from this row. And what I want to do, guys, is go from the other side of my work and make one more of those cute snowflakes in order to finish my earring. Okay. I'm here. And I'm exiting here at the edge. And I'll show you one more snowflake how I'm doing this from this side. Okay. Maybe you remember that I took this sequence of beads. I went back here. Then here. And here. And then I'm taking one. Super do bit, sliding it down, going through its empty hole, zigzagging through it, first through one of the holes and then through the other one. Then I want to take five silver beads. Okay, I have my five super do's and I'm going back, making a, cir a circle of six. Okay. Then I will reinforce this circle. And what I want to do is go back through this white bit. Okay. Then I'm going to add the edge of white atos here. Then I'm going here in the center and what I want to do is add one of these beautiful ato beads. Okay. Then I want to go here at the edge and add the silver beads. Okay, I will continue adding them and when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and I'm here where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. Okay, I'm adding them. Then what I need to do, guys, is exit through the opposite bead of this one here. And now I need to add my earring finding. Okay, I take it and uh, I will attach it in this direction because those beads are sticking out from this side. And I want this to be the front part of my earring. And I'm taking one silver bead, my earring finding, and one more silver bead. Okay, and 
I go back here in this direction, attaching it like this. And now I want to go and reinforce this joint here. Okay, so now I have this and in my next step, what I want to do is make a knot and cut my thread. And I'm going once and I'm going second time through the loop I've made and I pull. And then you could continue making more and more knots. And when you're ready, go through the following seed bead. and cut your thread and now your snowflake earring will be ready okay guys and now my fine snowflake earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button if you still haven't and in this way you will know when i post new videos and make matching videos to the ones that i have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself down there in the description you will find the full list of materials Link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful works that you did following my tutorials. Down there you could also check my second channel, Bijutel Fast Clips. And if you have limited time, see some beading projects in just a few minutes. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.